Hi guys, I'm just doing an update. You can see the war that is going on. I'll walk you through the events of the past 12 hours or so. It uh, really is rather incredible. Have a light on? Uh, no, no, the light is good now. The yeah, just coming to sit beside me. Okay, this all started. I'll, I'll walk you through the events and I'll read you from private conversations. And then, uh, okay, this all started at 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. our time. So it's, uh, what, 12, 15 hours ago. Communicating private email, uh, private uh, messaging through the Facebook. When uh, we upload the Shroud of Turin that we did for our own channel and I posted the link to the Holy Father. They said thank you at 1.59 a.m. And then at 2 a.m. I say... We are awaiting the airing of the broadcast organized by the Holy Father. Now, this was about the Shroud of Turin broadcast that we'd been sent the link to, this uh, televising of the Shroud, with the introduction by Francis. So we already knew that Francis wasn't going to be talking about the news that the Christ has returned. So I'm, I'm telling them this is what we're waiting for. And this was the response. What TV broadcast? I wasn't told anything like that. And then I say, on uh, RAI TV at your time, 1715, about the Shroud. And then, so Father Giuseppe is saying, oh, let me ask him. I had no idea. Nobody told me anything. And then I say, our guy yesterday found it. We thought you would have been told by the TV station. Because in our mind, it was something that, well, it was. The televising of it was organized by Benedict on the 3rd of March. And it's just that now that the, the Antichrist is in, he was doing the lead up to it. So we're thinking that they knew about this and, and that the TV station would let them know. Um, and so Father Giuseppe says, oh, and then I post the link to it. Because uh, as you know, it's been advertised all over the internet about the expose of the Shroud Trin, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then comes back the response. The Pope says that there are plans to make the broadcast and he didn't tell me because of Holy Week celebrations. Okay, so I say, well, you've got four minutes, like it'll start in four minutes. That was at our time, 2, 11 a.m. He says, we are calling the station. They never said anything, R-A-I TV. And then, then we say, well, Christ wants you to know there are six planets within 11 degrees and Saturn is in within 10.5 degrees, it indicates a major event on Sunday and the sacking of the Antichrist, Francis. And then uh, at 12.14 a.m., <coughs> sorry, 2.14, so it's only minutes later, a.m., the response, the Pope is furious. They said they are not letting us make the broadcast about the Shroud and Salvatore Mundi. The Pope just got off the phone with... The, the Pope just got off the phone with RAI, the Vatican stopped us. And of course, the Salvatore Mundi means saviour of the world, which is who uh, the Christ is, Brian and Galati Marshall. <laughs> this is the Shroud of Turin. So uh, now it's on. It's like, okay, here we go. Christ says he gives you the authority to sack Francis. This is the biggest thing in the history of the earth. Francis is one of the Jews. Francis, they would kill the Holy Father if they could. And then he's still going on about the conversation with the TV station. They said, Francis won't let you. Again, Christ is saying, if he were you, he would walk into the crowd and announce to the crowd, get the crowd going and tell them that the conclave elected the Antichrist. And then we so say, we have a disciple called Dexter from London. He's making arrangements to go as soon as he can get there soon. Um, and then he says, Father Giuseppe says, do you know what? I think you should let people know what is going on via Facebook, YouTube, etc. They should be informed of this madness. And then I say, our guys already know we have been fighting through Facebook and every media possible for days. They have been alerting the world. Our uploads have been exposing Francis, the Antichrist beast of Revelation 17, 11. The problem is that the Jews control all media. They fear their demise with the announcement of the returned Christ. Andrew went to... Uh, Ernst von Freiburg with the apostolic letter yesterday, and I'm saying call him. The ultimate weapon is the Vatican Bank. The Jews are terrified. Vatican III 
overthrows the money changes in the temple. The conclave was illegal. They all knew the Christ was back. They had been told. Dolan of New York had all the information days before the conclave. And then the answer comes back, Cardinal Dolan did, and he didn't say anything. So the conclave should have been stopped by him. He was the spokesperson. He set himself up with the media daily, reporting to the world before the conclave. I sent the information through a private email. His secretary, Kathleen, in New York gave it to me. She received gladly the news over the return of Christ. I sent the information and facts through the College of Cardinals also to Vatican News and Radio. They all got the news before we were able to get through to you. Also, Bishop Fillet of SXPX knows his Abbey, Abbey Baloney, Father Baloney, has been passing on the news to him. The Jews put in Francis to keep the people poor. He is not interested in raising them up to be healthy and wealthy, as the Christ wants them to be. He is a snake, a Zionist Jew, and so are the conclave that elected him. The humility is a show. He is an arrogant son of the devil, John 8, 44. They have kept the knowledge away from you and the people. Everything is a setup, all of the media. And then uh, I say, Christ is saying, ring the small local radio TV stations. Tell them directly from Peter. Make a video yourself. Father Giuseppe can organize it. Short and sweet, and we will upload it. Tell them what is going on in the video. Tell them the Christ is back in the Vatican. is trying to prevent the news going out. The conclave was Antichrist and Francis is Antichrist. And then the answer comes back at 2.50 a.m. I don't have a webcam feature on my computer or a microphone. Then he says, I will figure out something though. And, and I say, how about a mobile phone with a camera? He says, I have a cell phone but an earlier version. I never bothered to buy the greatest. That's okay. I think I can perhaps create a video with a message without any voice. Will that be okay? Well, I'm not. And I say, what about other nuns or priests, latest phones, borrow one? He says, we don't. I think Brother Filippo downstairs has one, but let me ask him. Okay, so this is, this is why the upload that came out with no voice, because they don't have a microphone or any capacity to do that. Hello? Um, and then we continue. When the Holy Father was elected in 2005, he narrowly beat Bergoglio. He, Francis, is a monster set in to destroy the Holy Mary Church since only the church that come, Christ comes back for, um, back for and be the head of can stop the Jews from destroy, destroying the creation totally. But Goglio, he is the biblical Gog. Christ is saying, call a taxi driver to the Castel Gandalf or speak with him, tell him what is going on, tell him to spread the word through all of the taxi drivers. They will do it through a dispatch. They can tell everyone their passengers, all spread the news of what is going on. The Christ is back and Francis is the Antichrist. And then uh, preventing the Holy Father from making the announcement. The taxi drivers love you. You are loved by the common man. Go direct to them via the taxi drivers. You are under siege. This is war. Jesus is back. You want to tell the world that the Antichrist Pope and the conclave is stopping you from revealing the truth. And then, then Brian takes over. Holy Father Christ here, I drove a taxi. These are grassroots people. They are connected via each other and dispatch. It is unlikely the Jews have the taxi drivers stitched up. Every customer has modern phone connected to the internet. The stars are set for a major change for Sunday, the 1111 number. People have been seeing worldwide wide is the six planets within 11 degrees of each other. Sunday is the greatest day in history. And then... <laughs> Christ continues, these Jews think they can beat a German? Call your brother, tell him to do the same. Call for all of Rome to storm the Vatican. Call the schools, get the children involved. They all love us. It will make the church of our mother Mary the greatest overturning in history. This is what I've been fighting for all of my life. They know it's over. It's a matter of time. Thousands will crowd the square and can start a chant. We want Benedict, like the huge chant in Egypt, calling the name Yahweh. It made world news. Once it breaks out, it will be all over, over in hours. The broadcast concerning the shroud is blocked on all links. However, it did go up because he, he sent it through uh, hours later. You can also call a taxi, get them to buy or lend a phone for the internet upload. That way their provider will not have been hollow netted. They will not have time to stop it once we have it forwards to our disciples and it is and it is the underground news and calling for Italy to crowd the we're demanding Jesus. And then we, the Jews have all internet users hollow netted. In this case, it is certainly stopping the masses from just direct contact with you. 
It is easy to do when you own the network, but we can slip under the radar. We are breaking through piece by piece as we let our angels make it happen. And then they're saying, we are working on the video now. We will, when it is finished, we will send it to you via email. The Pope asks you to make a video informing your followers of this monstrosity, which is what we did. That was the previous, that, that was the previous upload. I said before the conclave, I said to my crew, whoever walks out as a Pope, gun him down. We will upload this at once. Indeed, Holy Father, I have not wanted to tell you the depths of evil we face. You are a saint and I wanted to spare you as the task is daunting to say the least. Then we send private um, contact phone numbers again. And then, so we do the uploads, upload, breaking news from Pope Benedict locked up in his apartment. Um, he says, thank you. The video is being sent to you and Mr. Marshall now through the email. We are sending it using Google Drive. The message is also in Italian. And then they say video sent, but that was at 6.15 a.m., uh, 6.23, got it. Uh, do you see it, Mrs. Marshall? Yes. And then we <coughs> consult over the message. Um, he just fine-tunes the um, English translation of what was being said. So that happens. And then, uh, okay, let me help you. This is with the translation. This is at 17.15. We go through the translation. And then it finishes at 1720, 1727, 1720, I, I, 21, I say, okay, we've got it. That is all the English translation of what he's saying in his upload. And they say, what a team. Um, did we send it out through 6 million emails yet? Okay, Joel's on his way to do that right now. Uh, then I say, what contact do you, tell us do you have for the commander of the Swiss Guard? We sent an email, however, no reply. Uh, do not know if he got it. The Swiss Guard, the Jesuits, the Knights of Malta all swear their allegiance to the Trinity, Jesus Christ and Mother Mary. And then at 7.33, the response comes in, that's strange. Uh, and then I say, at 7.34, we have been sending out hundreds of emails with the apostolic letter to notify them. However, we have not heard anything back. We are censored. Our IP address comes up as blacklisted. Do you have personal phone numbers with the command of the Swiss Guard or anyone in a high position to come to your aid? Our YouTube and Facebook is hollow-netted, meaning that only a few can see what we do. That is the Jews behind the scenes. Your own Facebook page should have thousands of views, and, and yet it shows only 40 plus. Um, now, so this is the response. Well, whenever I contacted them, I just sent a letter to them through the mail, but I was never told the address or postal code. They added it on the letter, and then he says, the Jews. So we respond, so basically you were kept in the dark like a mushroom, and the Christ says that you know what they feed mushrooms. Christ is saying that this is a magnificent chess game. He is astonished that a created being thinks he can outsmart the creator. I laugh out loud. And then I say, I can't wait till we're all together. Adam is praying for you. And he says hours ago that Francis will be gone soon in hours. So then we send the link to what we've uploaded, which was his um, video done in their apartments, the only way they could, and emailed it to us. We downloaded and re-uploaded as we said we could. I say, Joel is making another version with subtitles, which is already up there, you know of that. He says, okay, thank you. The Holy Father seems happier now, and he's going off to sleep, because by that time it's um, about midnight where they are, and we say, sweet dreams, Christ is sending all, all of the children to contact him. They all love him, and they are the army. And then at 8.47, we wake up to um, the, the contact link to the Shroud doco with Francis at the introductions, saying he allowed a ceremony to be televised on RAI TV instead. So this is what, this was to be the planned time of the announcement of the return of the Christ, Salvatore Mundi, the image of the Shroud of Turin, and instead Francis hijacked that and they had a ceremony, uh, Easter television ceremony instead broadcast on RAI TV. Okay, so that was uh, our time, 8.47 a.m. I've been posting other things this afternoon about the, the Rosenthal 1976 interview, saying, Father Giuseppe, read that. To, um, oh, yes, I yes. Uh, right. Okay, so he's been fully appraised now of what is behind the scenes. And we finish with uh, Chuka's dream, 
would like to share my dream, which is what Adam's dream is. This is from Chuka. The big solar flare, which I had put in the Ya Happy Birthday video, along with the direction of the asteroid with hand movement by which happened in Russia not long after it was made. I'm guided by angels to make those videos, which is why they have meaning, which can be overlooked sometimes. Francis Monster will be slayed soon. Much love to you, Pope Benedict. Where are the knights that have sworn an oath by your side? They need to respond. So that was from Chuka. So this is the latest. Now, uh, we've also been sent links, what's been circulating since this all goes out, because I did send the apostolic letter with everything happening going on to the CBC, that's the commercial um, uh, or the Can Canadian Broadcasting Corporation in Canada, to Tim Richards, the executive producer. So now today, all over the internet, there's all of these rumors circulating. Um, one is uh, unholy row as Benedict returns to reclaim the papacy in time for Easter. It's a complete farce and a scam. It comes from behind the news or something before the news before it happens, which is a total sham. We've known that because they've not wanted to cover us at all. It's all Jew backed, all alternative media are still the Jews. And it's a farce about Pope Benedict strode into St. Peter's Square. I'll put the link, you can go and read it. It's a total farce and a scam. And there's another one about um, unconfirmed rumors that, uh, that Benedict the 16th write that he is dying. So they've put these rumors out there to distract what's really going on. Um, Benedict is fine. He's never been better. He's lost yeah, all the dark right. circles. And, and certainly they will be trying to kill him. They cannot. He is under holy protection by the divine holy angels. And the only one that will die in this scenario is Francis. Absolutely. He's headed for perdition. He is the biblical beast, the Antichrist. So I'll put the links to those two as this goes up, but that's the, the latest breaking updated of the events of the last 12 hours at least. So don't stop, don't give up, just know any rumors like that. Uh, email to His um, Holiness, I said, just keep running, keep smiling. Yeah. <laughs> it's all going the way we want. I'm the one who gets all hyper and, ah, yeah, it's very cool, good. calm and collected. Yes. It's cool. It's all prophecy. <laughs> yeah, it is all prophecy, however. You can't die. <laughs> No. I've made him the Pope, and that's how he's going to stay. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what's going on. So disregard any rumors and counter the rumors, whatever you like. Just, just, just know that we do win. This is the Revelation 17. There's also the Kevin Arnett thing. That's um, oh, the Kevin Arnett thing is picking up heat and fire. He is of the beast. Anything behind backing that man, he is of the beast. You are, he, he is an absolute demon from hell. He is of the beast. Counter everything with him. Call him Antichrist. He is Jew backed. Okay, that's it for now. Well, this all started in Port Alberni, and of course, I was there when Annette was there. So yeah, he has so, no interest in the truth at all. He's all part of it. People have been dying around him. He's he's all part of it. Okay, see you later again.